Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for you. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Gemini? Next couple of weeks. What do we have for Gemini? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who may need to find some discipline. Somebody could be making some poor financial choices. You need to buckle down. Um, you may have some sort of suspicions about somebody. Maybe you're suspicious and you're ignoring them or you're pursuing them, whichever way it goes. This is a very suspicious energy. Um, insecure. You may be dealing with some insecurities within yourself. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, we got some sort of happiness here. Shining bright. But you could be spending too much money. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. You know, maybe you're overspending. Maybe you need to really buckle down here. You maybe you're spending too much money on your image, okay? Because I see that you're shining, you know, you're, you're glowing, you're looking really good. You're probably feeling really good. You may be spending money on things that you shouldn't be spending money on. Um, Ace of Wands. Well, looks as though you have a new passionate start here. This is a, a exciting new endeavor. So this is very this is very hot as well. This is the wand, and this is this is hot, very hot. Maybe you're looking really hot because you're spending so much money to look that way. I don't freaking know. Um, King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may have a new opportunity with somebody that has a really big heart. This doesn't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This can be anybody. This is somebody who is very feeling, somebody that's very compassionate, somebody that is offering you something emotional. This person is mastering their emotions. This person um, has love to offer, and they may be very attracted to you. There's definitely some sort of attraction here. A desire. Okay. Knight of Wands reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. The Chariot. Hmm. Somebody is heading in a different direction. They're heading really very quickly. Somebody could be coming towards you very quickly. Could be Cancer. Doesn't have to be. But somebody is moving very fast towards victory too. Okay. Um, this is an obstacle being removed. The Eight of Swords. Justice, you're about to get something that you deserve, Gemini. Something is becoming final, a final decision. It's finally time. It's finally time for you to have balance in your life. Something that you have been waiting for is coming to you. And it is going to make you feel very balanced. It's going to provide you some sort of clarity. It is. You got something new here. So this is very exciting. The Knight of Wands, it's like you don't even have to do anything. It's going to come to you. Okay, it's going to come right to you. It's time. It's time for you to receive the justice that you deserve. And you don't have to do a thing. You don't have to chase after it or anything. It's coming towards you. It is. It's coming towards you. Wow. Wow. These two are mirroring each other. We got love. And we got passion. This is a new start. A new start in love. A new passionate beginning. This is very, very, very exciting. Okay? I don't know why I can't get that thing to focus. So, yeah, this is exciting. I mean, this is, this is something that you have asked for. Okay? Um... This is love, an outpouring, an overflowing, okay? This is love. <laughs> New love. Ooh, 
this isn't somebody, this isn't somebody from the past, okay? It's not. It's not. We got the lovers reversed. This is not somebody from the past. This is not that old contract. This is a new contract. Okay? So if you were thinking that this is somebody from the past, I'm here to clear that up for you right now. This is not. This is a new contract, not the old contract. The old con that's the obstacle that is being removed. You're moving in a new direction now. You may be moving away from this King of Cups. I mean, it works in so many ways. This reading is a general reading. It's for thousands of people. Somebody may be moving away from the King of Cups and, or some other person, and they have somebody new coming in. That's what I think this is. You're about to get something that you have asked for. This is going to make you feel very happy. This is extreme happiness. This is, this is time to celebrate. This is a time to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate love. You don't even have to do anything. You don't, you don't even have to chase after it. It's coming for you. This is, there's going to be an instant attraction. This is instant attract. It is. We have an instant attraction here. This person is very loving, very, very loving, very kind. It's time for you to be happy again. It is. This is this is letting go. The five of swords reversed. This is letting go. I don't need to you don't need to prove yourself to this person. You're not going to have to prove yourself to this person for any reason. Okay? They're gonna be very attracted to you from the very beginning. Okay, you're not going to have to walk on eggshells. You don't have to prove yourself. This is your opportunity to be happy. This is your justice. Now, but some of you are still stuck on the past contract, right? You're still stuck. You're still delaying. It's like you still got this wedge and it has to do with this contract that you need to remove the obstacle. Okay, the obstacle is stepping into your new life, letting that old cycle end. So, if you are still hanging on to the past, my advice is to let it go because this is destiny. This is destined. You are meant to go in a new direction. Don't delay. Don't look back. Don't go backwards. I feel as though, I mean, we have the Knight of Cups reversed. This is suspicious about getting into a relationship, not really wanting a relationship. You may not even be looking for it, okay? You may be like, I don't have anything to offer. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she's she's not giving anything. She's holding on, okay? She's not. She, you, may, you may feel like you're not worthy. You may feel like you're not good enough. You may feel like you don't want a relationship. You're not looking for a relationship, and boom, here it is. Yeah, okay. Now the decision is going to be made. Decision right here with the justice and two of swords, a decision. A decision is going to be made here. Hmm. Do you want to be alone or do you want to fall in love? That's the question. There's fear of rejection, right? There's fear of not being good enough. There's fear of, of being ghosted. There's fear of repeating that same cycle over again, right? There is. Now you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. It's like now you've got this new passionate opportunity with somebody that appears to be very loving. This person appears to be uh, love, okay? It appears to be somebody that you could fall in love with, right? That's what it appears to be. But fear of, of, of coming out of hiding, fear of giving up a pet independence, fear of... Um, going backwards, fear of giving your heart away, fear of getting trapped in something again is big, right? But now you got this instant attraction that feels so real. It really looks like it's real. It looks like it's real. Now you got to make a decision. It's time to be happy. Can you choose that? Can you choose to let yourself be happy? There's fear of getting in a partnership. Okay, this is the stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's like, yes, you are definitely at that crossroads and it's time to make a decision. You are going to be forced to make some sort of decision because now you've got this person in your life that wants you to give them a chance. 
they probably see you um, as some big bright opportunity for abundance, okay? They see you as somebody that they may want to travel with. They see you as somebody that they could have success with. They're very attracted to you. Um, and now it's like, it feels like they want you to come with them. Will you come with me? Will you, will you do this with me? You know, and you're like, oh, no. You know, now what? They may want you to, to just, you know, go on some adventure with them. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but you're hurting, right? You're in some sort of pain here with the Three of Swords. You're hurting over the past contract with the, with the lovers reversed. It's like you got this sudden opportunity to get involved with somebody. And the past is still uh, blocking you, okay? The past is still in your... Um, consciousness you haven't released it yet but you have this opportunity right you got this opportunity to go someplace with somebody else i think somebody is going to invite you they're going to invite you to go somewhere they're going to ask you to go on a trip with them or something like that or they're going to invite you on a date i don't know i think this has to do with travel for some of you for sure and you're you're just you're unsure you're unsure as to whether you should um unblock your heart whether you should let this person in or not um, whether you want to even get into in a, into some sort of a commitment. You may go out on a date with this person. You may end up dancing with this person. Um, this could lead to a lot of happiness. And that's what this person is picturing. This person is picturing a future with you. It's like, damn, this is what I want. This is, this can, this is what I want. This person sees an opportunity for some, a very happy, you know, future. And they see that this could lead to something very uh, victorious. But you, your, your challenge is, is letting go of the past contract that didn't work out. Don't, don't let that hinder you. It's time. It's time for you to be happy again. It's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. So yeah, you're going to be asked to give somebody a chance. And I think that you will be attracted to this person. I do. I think that you will be very attracted to this person. I think this person... Um, is wanting love they 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 it's like they're instantly so drawn to you that they're like oh my god you know it's that's kind of thing it's like you you're everything that i have been looking for and you might be you might be taken aback by this you might be like whoa 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 slow down slow down um yeah so you're gonna probably be deepening a bond with somebody unexpectedly if that's what the four of wands is reversed there's some sort of upcoming celebration i'm not sure what it is so it could be some sort of party that you go to uh where you meet somebody unexpectedly and it's just like wow 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 um so i think there's a relationship that you know is going to blossom out of the blue if you're in one now you could be stepping it up to the next level if you are single there is somebody that is going to come into your life very unexpectedly very suddenly um and you meet this person at some sort of i think it's some sort of celebration okay it's a party or it's a celebration you're not looking for a relationship you may be still hurting over something you're in some sort of pain or whatever you haven't healed and all of a sudden you got this attraction it's like boom that's what i keep hearing it's like boom wow wow so this is a big bright opportunity to basically start something new with someone and it could lead to it could even lead to marriage okay it could lead to marriage this is very sudden it is very unexpected um this person is going to come after you you're not even gonna have to do anything um you may feel like you're not good enough you may feel like this is unreal you may feel like this is unreal i can't no this is this is unreal this to, to feel this way so quick it's unreal um this person probably lives at a distance from you. They're not in your vicinity. It's like they travel to you or you have to travel to them or there's some sort of distance. But all of a sudden, they're right there. And it's like, and they may want you to come home with them. I don't know what that means. But yeah, come home with me. Yeah, I, I, I know what that means. So anyway, there's definitely a lot of passion. There is, this is an opportunity for 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 love to blossom. And whoever you're dealing with, sees you as uh, exactly what they are looking for. 
Now, let's get one of these. Let's get one of these for Gemini. What is this? Ooh, we got two. We're going to have to take them both. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So, Gemini, I want to know what is going on, but you are think positive. Give this person a chance. Just go for it. This is very exciting.